Let's explore how to discover and remediate malware across your SaaS apps in the cloud using Microsoft's CASB. Now, Microsoft does this through two different methods. One is as it combs through the files in the connected cloud app in the CASB, it's going to apply threat intelligence by asking itself a series of questions you can see here on the right. The second thing it does is it's going to take that file and detonate it in a sandbox as if an end user were actually executing it. And then it's going to use the learnings from that in addition to the answers to these questions to then develop its insights, actions, and recommendations on how to best remediate that piece of malware. So let's take a look at this in action. On the main dashboard here, we can see on my open alerts that we do have a malware detection alert that was generated. And as I scroll down, I can see that 20 files are infected in my cloud apps. And so at this point, we can then click on alerts and begin our investigation. So we're actually going to change our filter here to the malware detection policy and show all alerts that fired for that policy. And here they are. And I could see that's across OneDrive, SharePoint, even G Suite and my other connected apps. And here, if I click on the policy, this time for WannaCry or maybe Mimikatz, it will show me the file name, the path to where that file is found in that app. And then I can see that it is indeed infected and I could see additional information about that file. Now, to begin remediation, I can click on the ellipsis here and I can go out and delete that file. Uh, but I've created another policy where we are actually responding to it. So here I'm going to type in malware and filter my malware uh, policies. I'm gonna bring up the malware remediation policy. And this is saying anytime the malware detection policy is matched, it's fired, then apply these governance actions. And the governance actions could be in G Suite, hey, let's, let's delete the file and let's no notify somebody. Uh, maybe in OneDrive, let's uh, put it in quarantine. We could do that as well. Now the actual policy that is discovering the malware, let me show you what that looks like, is if we filter in our policies here for malware, it's this built-in malware detection policy. You just have to enable it. And here it's applying threat intelligence that we talked about, and it's applying the sandboxing detonation. And that's how it's discovering the malware. And if we come back here to uh, view our matched uh, files, here's all the files across all of my cloud apps that have been infected. And at this point, I can go out and I can start to take action either manually or automatically. Pretty cool. The last thing I wanna show you is, as I click on the piece of malware here, it gives me a ton of telemetry. Check out this malware link down here. It tells me the family of malware. And as I click on it, it's going to give me a beautiful white paper that I can then read about that piece of malware, understand what it is and what it's doing. Really cool stuff. Now here's another one for WannaCry, and I can read all about WannaCry or whatever the piece of malware is, and I can read about how it works. Really interesting stuff. As you can see, it's very easy to enable. Just enable that policy and away you go. It's fundamental. There's really no excuse to not use this, and this is critical to security operations. Hope you found value in this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Go ahead and subscribe so you can stay notified when I upload a new video. And we have a lot more coming on Cloud App Security, Defender ATP, Office ATP, Azure ATP, and we'll keep going. See you on the next video. Take care.